Okay, and we're back. So now we're just having a look at the uh, priest setup. Um, it does come with a trial of Norton Internet Security. Um, I don't mind Norton, it's better than many others, specifically McAfee. Um, I'll just turn that on now so I don't have to worry about it straight away. Um, I did notice a little red pixel on there when it was black, so hopefully it's something I can fix. Um, if you want, if you bought a key card or you have one, you can up activate that now. I don't particularly want to. Um, Sugar Sink, what the hell is that? Um, I prefer SkyDrive if it's what I think it is. And thank you, your setup is complete. So that was just after it said, um, after it's done its logon. It will now finish doing this setup now. And oh, oh and it comes with Google Chrome. How nice of it. Oh, sorry, I'm just throwing stuff to the floor. Um, so yes, it comes with Google Chrome, which is nice of it. Um, I'll probably update that myself. So... Then I've always partnered with um, Google to give you Google Chrome. Search so for anything there with Google Chrome, try it now. Well, I'm not actually connected to the internet, so I won't. Um, they also provide Internet Explorer 9 for you. Oh, hello. Um, actually, surprisingly, a nice clean desktop. Usually you get it loaded with um, tons of crapware. Um, I'll just have a quick look see what they provided for us. Um, so, uh, Adobe Reader X, um, uh, I'm assuming that's an installer for Skype. Intel WideEye, if you get one with the Intel wireless adapter then you'll get Intel WideEye as an option come back. Um, Intel WideEye, uh, what else we've got? Um, Lenovo Cloud Storage by SugarSync, I probably won't use that. Like I said, I prefer SkyDrive. Uh, the Lenovo device experience and solutions for small business installer, or well, that's an installer for something else. Uh, Think Vantage Tools, Office 2010 will link you and get you set up with Office 2010 um, Basic, which is Word and Excel stripped down with our uh, basic features. If you have Office, you'll probably just chuck that on. Uh, Windows DVD Maker, Anytime Upgrade, Windows Live Suite, um, Accessories, just a standard, whoops, there's the calculator. Um, just the standard Windows ones, uh, Corel, WinDVD 10, DVD Movie Factory, which comes with uh, Burn Now for burning things, and a Movie Factory for making movies. Uh, it comes with the Dolby Advanced Audio and Evernote. Uh, again, Google Chrome, Intel, oh, it's found something. Um, Intel Management Security, uh, Intel WideEye, and the NVIDIA 3D Vision for the graphics card and the rest of Windows Live. Um, Many of these will probably be a little bit out of date, so you'll probably want to update them um, as soon after you get it. Um, I do recommend Ninite for that, uh, N-I-N-I-T-E, I'll link it down the bottom for you. It's very good, you just check all the boxes, download a little installer and go away for a little while and come back, and all the apps are installed without crap, like toolbars and things. Um, there's actually not much down here. Intel HD Graphics, Bluetooth, Dolby Advanced Audio, Realtek Audio, which is one thing I'm a little dis disappointed about. I don't like Realtek Audio that much. Um, Norton and the NVIDIA settings. So, it's actually surprisingly skinny. Bill, there's only there's only a few things I'll probably take off. Um, but, otherwise, it's actually not that bad. That's Message Center. That's the battery meter. So, it's going to need another hour and a half to fully charge up. Um, I'll just take that off and you, you know, just use your standard things, i.e. 9 Explorer Media Player and Chrome, which is because um, I don't know if I've included that. So I'll take that off. So that's it then. Now, um, I'm not sure what that red pixel was, it was just a random anomaly, or if it is actually a dead pixel, in which case I'll have to get them to come and replace it, um, replace the panel, hopefully, and yes. Um, I do recommend getting an on-site warranty because they will cover you and replace those things or if it's something simple they'll just send the part to you. Whereas if you have one where you have to send it away, you have to send it away, which is an inconvenience I'm sure. I've never actually had to send anything, any, anything away on the warranty. Again, I've always been um, having the on-site warranty. Um, set Windows update and set up backup from the Action Centre. And oh, now we've got the Intel management and security status. That's probably for like the Intel AMT things. So, well, that is that really. There's not much more really I can show you. Um, if you want one, I'd get one. <laughs> they are a nice machine. They feel quite nice. Otherwise, they're, I mean, depending on what you want, um, they've got something for pretty much everyone really. They've got the X-Series if you want something small or thin or, in the case of the X-1 card, incredibly sexy. 
and if you need something completely powerful you've got they've got the W530 which you can get with the um, the Nova I think the 520 you get with the i7 extremes I'm not sure you can get with the new ones but they are apparently pretty powerful and weigh quite a bit as well um, I also got the fingerprint reader as well which um, apparently I'm not sure if they still do it with the single swipe when it's off to turn it on and log it on so that will be something I'll have to experiment with and see how it goes so this has been it thank you for watching